In this video, we're going to take a look at string concatenation in Java, but go one step further and introduce integers into the mix. So string concatenation, what does that mean? Well, it means combining one string with another string. Now, this can be done by combining custom text with a string or even one string with another. Let's take a look at an example so we can see how string concatenation works. So here we have combined custom text, a custom output, with a string variable, and then we combine text, which is a string in itself. So here we have a string variable called name. We've set it to herb computer science. This video was made by plus name. Here's a string plus combined with another, and it gives us the expected output. This video is made by herb computer science. Here's a string combined with another. So when you're doing string concatenation, combining one string with another, you simply use that plus sign. It's not any more difficult than that. It is pretty easy. Now, if you stop there with string concatenation, you may run into a huge problem later on, especially if you're going to be taking that AP exam because they like to throw some wrenches in uh, to the works. So. What happens when we start introducing integers or other primitive data types in the mix with string concatenation? So let's take a look at some exercises and understand what our code is doing. We have six questions we're going to look at. We're going to go over all the answers at the end. So what will the following code output? So here we have two integers. We have one called num, which we've set to five, num2, which we've set to six. We have a string variable called sample, which we've set to uh, test with a capital T. Here down here we have some string concatenation. What we're doing is we're updating the string uh, sample. So we have sample plus num plus num2. Now we know plus will combine strings together, but what happens if I try to take a string and I try to do plus num, which is an integer? Is that gonna is it even gonna run at all? And we're gonna have an error when this tries to run? Num plus num2. Are those going to be added together? Are they going to be combined together? Are we going to get an error? I mean, because you can't take an integer and convert it to a string, can you? So go ahead and pause here and make a prediction. And I strongly encourage you to make a prediction because even if your prediction is wrong, you'll still be making progress. You want to keep that positive attitude. There's always so much you can learn and you, can ne you should never be afraid to get something wrong because you're still making progress. So go ahead, pause here and make a prediction. Number two is very similar to number one, except for we flip-flop some things around. What happens if I do num plus num2 plus sample? Because I have num and num2, which are integers. I'm assigning it to a string, but I'm also combining sample. What will happen here? Go ahead and pause and make a prediction. In number three, we have the same thing as we did last time, except we have put a compound operator at the beginning. Now, a compound operator, if you're not familiar, what that does is it takes the variable, adds it to the front. So this will actually be sample plus num plus num2 plus sample when all is said and done. Go ahead, pause here and make a prediction. Okay, number four, we've put sample out front. We've gotten rid of that compound operator. So now we have sample plus num. So we have a string and integer plus another string, plus another integer. Is this going to even, it will compile. We don't have any red lines, but when we run the program, will it actually uh, execute the way we want it to? Let's go ahead, pause here, and make a prediction. Okay, number five, what we've done here is, well, we've used some variables here. We use some int data types and string data types, but what if I take an integer and try to assign it to a string by doing plus num2 plus sample plus num. Does that make a difference? Is something still going to work here? Let's go ahead and pause here and make a prediction. All right, number six. So what we've done is we have the same line of code as we did for number five, but this time we have put that compound operator out front. So sample is actually gonna move to the front of the line here. Is that going to change the output? Well, there's only one way to know, and that first is to pause and make a prediction. All right, it's time to go over the answers. So we're going to look at these answers, and then we're going to talk about what is actually happening. I want to see if you can find the pattern, because if you're able to discover what is going on, 
you'll be much more likely to remember what we're taking a look at. So here we have sample plus num plus num2, which is very interesting. We have some integers that we're trying to add to a string, and here we have some integers that we're assigning to a string. Well, what is it going to output? This is what it's going to output. It output test 5, 6. So it outputs test, it outputs 5, which is num, and then it tacks on the 6 for num2. So no spaces involved here, it's just simply test 5, 6. Now, number 2 is a little different. What happens when we flip it around? Are we going to get 5, 6 test? Well, no, we get 11 test. So it's doing num plus num2 plus sample. So when the integers, it looks like when the integers are at the beginning, they're going to go ahead and add together. Now, this brings us to number 3 with a compound operator, which is going to put sample out front. And you may say, well, sample's out front, so this should be sample. 5, 6, sample, test, 5, 6, test. And when we take a look at our output, we get test, 11, test. And you may be saying, oh my god, what is going on? When we had a string at the very beginning of number 1, it didn't add them. It just tacked them on at the end. Here we have a string at the beginning, but now it's doing 5 plus 6. What in the world is going on here? Well, don't worry. We're going to talk about it. Number 4. So here, we have test at the beginning. We have num plus test again. So we have 5 plus test plus 6. Now, we're trying to concatenate integers with strings, but we have an integer here and a plus sign. Is that going to make a difference? Are we going to get an error? And we don't, and it actually does output. It outputs test, num, which is 5, sample, which is test, and num2, which is 6. No adding this time, because we don't have integers side by side. But in the last one, we had integers side by side, and it added. But number one, we had them side by side, and it didn't add. Hmm. Number five. So number five I like a lot. What happens if we're not using variables, and we just throw in an integer? This nine is definitely an integer. There's no quotes around it. And we're trying to assign a bunch of this stuff to the string, but we definitely have some integers in the mix. So we have nine plus num2 plus sample, plus num. Here what is what is outputted. It is 15 test fives. So here we have some integers at the beginning. So they have added. Then we have test, and then we have five. Now, number six throws that compound operator into the mix. So is this going to output test, nine, five, test, five? Or is it going to add some of those things together? Well, let's take a look at the output. So this outputs test 15, test 5. So 9 plus num2 is adding together, even though test is showing up first. If you haven't found out the pattern, don't worry, I'm going to fill you in. So let's talk about what's happening here so you can master your code. So what is happening? Now the rule of a string concatenation and other data types is simply this. Once a string is found or executed in the line of code, everything after that will be converted to a string. When we looked at number one, we had sample plus num plus num2. Well, because sample was a string, it converted that five and the six to a string as well, and that's why the integers didn't add together. So if you take a look at exercises two, three, five, and six, you'll see that our numbers added together. The numbers added until a string was encountered. After the string was encountered, all remaining data was converted to a string. And you may be saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Exercise three and six had a compound operator, and this puts the string at the very beginning. Well, that's true. Even our test data, when we looked at the output, shows that. However, the rules still apply, and the string is added to the beginning after the string is done with its concatenation, not before it is done. And this is why the numbers still add up. So when you have integers at the beginning with a compound operator, those numbers are going to add. All the string concatenation will be done, and then the string is added to the beginning. So the rule is simply this. When using string concatenation, other data types will work as intended until a string is encountered. Once this happens, they are converted to strings. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help the channel grow. We'll see you guys in the next video.